Okay, we're back. Hallelujah. Uh, we're going. We're going to Matthew 15, 17 through 19. I had to cut off there. Welcome to part two. And you remember I was talking to you, guy. Uh, uh, as uh, uh, I'm, I'm not confronting uh, him, uh, with him uh, because he knows there is a God. There is a God. No, Jesus is God the Son. Uh, know that he is a sinner. Know that Jesus died on the cross for his sins. Know Jesus raised him from the dead. He doesn't make it. Well, see, he, he, the reason why he gives that, uh, he, he gives that reason because uh, he makes equivalent knowing, uh, equivalent to, um, let's see. Oh, oh, I got the wrong verse there. Um... Oh, Romans 10, 8 through 10. Romans 10, 8 through 10. Romans 10, 8 through 10. Okay? Don't get me wrong. I rejoice that this guy is sharing the gospel. I mean, I, uh, uh, I'm just trying to assist and make it better for this person, but he, he won't listen to me or he doesn't write to me. But what saith the word is the nigh? even in thy mouth and thy heart, that the word of faith which we preach, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, and thou shalt be saved. Now, he says, believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt. Uh, he doesn't think that that person is saved, that you have to have the attachment, confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ. And I showed you, I showed you in 2 Timothy 2.19. I showed you in 2 Timothy 2.19. This can be tricky because I used to do this, okay? I'm guilty just as this guy is guilty uh, of doing this. Oh, I'm not, I'm my, and I'm not mentioning his name if I don't have to. My war is not against flesh and blood, but against powers of darkness. In 2 Timothy 2.19, in uh, Bible Gateway, King James Version, I only use that because... There's no copyright. All the others have copyrights except for the older ones like Geneva, Bible, and stuff. Anyway, 2 Timothy 2.19, it says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. Let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Nameth the name of Christ. Confess, confess, depart from iniquity. For... You know, it's uh, what it, it's it's the heart thing. It's a heart problem, folks. It, and if we don't deal with the heart, if we don't deal with the heart, uh, it, you know, it's not. You know, we gotta deal with that sinful heart. There's where iniquity is. There's where it needs to be killed. And now. Get, don't get me wrong. If you are, a, if you do believe in your heart, I mean, it's just a natural thing that'll come out of your heart and your mouth. Well, a desire is to say, Jesus died for my sins, arose again from the dead. But I wanted to make clear that it's not the conf the the confession is is a is is fused in there. Okay, it's fused. Okay, it's fused with the heart decision that's the initial catalyst if if a person believed in their heart that they're a sinner and they needed a savior jesus christ their lord and savior forgive the sins that saves them that's responding to the conviction by the holy spirit okay now <clears throat> it's good to 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 test some somebody out and say well, let's give, let's thank God for dying on the cross for our sins, rising from the dead. That's a good thing, uh, because you want to make sure that, you know, what a person said <clears throat> it has departed from their iniquity as in accordance with 2 Timothy 2.19. But I want you to, to really set in your mind that believing in your heart is not knowing in the case of uh, Romans 10, 8 through uh, 10 okay Romans 10 8 through 10 uh, it and, and backs up Timothy's claim get that iniquity out of your heart okay so uh, I wanted to make sure that 
that you're not confused there, that you that you know the source is believing. Some people and say, how would I know if they don't confess? Well, that's, yeah. But I'm just trying to state a principle that there may be somebody who uh, believed but never got a chance to share their testimony. Um, yeah, I, 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 that, that's possible. I just want you to know that you don't make an assumption about somebody without gathering that fact. And you'll, but the, but you know, they may die and never get a chance to, to grow. All right, they made a, they made a decision, right at their deathbed. Boom. I'm just trying to. I know it sounds like a a a, a heavy point, but I want to, We want to be truthful, as much as possible, with the word of God, rightly dividing the truth. You always people are saying that. Let's rightly divide, the word of God. Okay the author and finisher of our faith, Jesus Christ, through Scripture. Okay? Um, well, this is very important for us to understand. Um, so, I, I wanted to share that with you, and and I am still have some time. Praise God. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to <clears throat> James 5, 15, 17. Let's see. And I'm, I'm surprising myself because James 5... Uh, 15 through 17. I think this is what I want. <laughs> and I'm going to Bible Gateway. Yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> James 5 is one of them. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he hath committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults to one another. Pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Very true. Righteousness in their hearts. See? Uh-huh. And now, we're talking about people who are believers with other believers. Loving especially the brethren. See? Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are. And that's Elijah. And to, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, um, wow. Oh, we got time. Good. Praise God. Uh, so, I, I I want you to, to show you here that here's a, a confession, not unto salvation, but to build each other up. Iron sharpening iron here. Don't get don't get confused. Um, now, now salvation. Yeah, there's a forgiveness process, um, and, and there could be salvation involved here. But basically, it's a church function where iron sharpening iron, building each other us up, uh, uh, doing a uh, a teleos, a commune, community of faith <clears throat> in a local church. Okay. A community of faith in a local church that's that's so important so praise God um, we're, we're going on here and uh, I wanted to show you uh, uh, where the the devil uh, the demons believe uh, that's important uh, uh, demons believe remember that <clears throat> demons believe okay I'm going to look that up, demons, believe, and tremble. Remember that? Remember, uh, people love to, to use that word, and I used to do it. I'm guilty of it myself, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but I want to put it in context. In context, it's so, so important with, with Scripture. We must keep things in context that you not be uh, deceived in any way. Ah, oh, wow.